Hey guys, happy Monday. Uh, this is the second time that I am making this video. I just wanted to show you guys the new car seat that I had told you all that I got the other day. I finally put it together yesterday. Um, it, I believe, is called the Evenflow Light Max 35 or something like that. It is an Evenflow car seat. Um, I love it because he fits in it perfectly and he doesn't seem scrunched up. Um, my Graco car seat that I had for him previously, when I put him in it and raised the hood, his head would touch the hood. And so that's why I was just kind of assuming that it was a smaller car seat. Um, as you can maybe see, I know it's really dark, but he has a lot of headroom um, in this car seat compared to the other one. So I am loving this car seat. Um, also, one of the features that came on this car seat was a extended hood. So if I come over here, there is a zipper right here and you unzip it and it extends the hood even further. So I am going to do that and then you pull it down and it actually extends the hood way further over him. And also his feet do not come out as far on this one as it did on my um, Graco car seat. So I am absolutely loving this car seat. <clears throat> Excuse me, I just got done eating. I had stuffed bell peppers for dinner and I will insert a photo and show you guys. I got the recipe off of YouTube and it was really, really good. Um, please excuse my sheets in the background on my bed. I am filming him in his car seat in my bedroom, but we are going to stop this video because we are actually going to go outside to finish it. So I'm going to end this one here and we will see you all in a few minutes. Hi guys, we are back. Um, I fibbed, just a little tiny wet lie. Um, I was gonna go outside and do the video for you guys, but I went outside and my son is working on one of his vehicles and he's using power tools. He's using a sander and stuff. And so it is very, very loud. And so I know that if I went outside, you guys wouldn't be able to hear me anyway. On top of that, it is smoky. And since he's sanding old paint off of a vehicle, there's paint particles flying around in the air and I don't particularly want to have Andrew exposed to that. So we are going to go ahead and film our Monday vlog inside. Um, I'm sorry, I apologize. I know you guys probably would like to see some sort of different scenery, but right now it is just not possible. So we are going to go ahead and continue filming inside today where it's cool. Uh, not very much noise. Maybe you'll hear my air conditioner in the background. If you do, I do apologize for that. Um, anyhow, I filmed a short little clip for you guys showing um, Andrew's new car seat. I do love it. I believe, I know for a fact it is an even flow. I believe it is called an even flow light max 35 or something like that. I do apologize for not having the exact name, but I would have to go out in the garage and get the paperwork and the box to see what exactly it is. Um, so if anybody really wants to know exactly what car seat it is, just leave a comment in the comment section below and I will gladly answer uh, the question for you. Other than that, today has been a pretty eventful Monday. Um, I had to do my usual duties during the week and then we came home and yesterday, watching YouTube, I found a couple of recipes for some stuffed bell peppers. So I made stuffed bell peppers for dinner. I will insert a photo at the end of this video so you can all see how they turned out. Um, Andrew is wearing one of the outfits that I got him the other day from the thrift store. It is one of the vintage looking rom uh, rompers. I believe it is the Tommy Hill figure one. It is 18 months and I went ahead and just put a white onesie underneath because the romper is sleeveless. Um, and then he also has, 
his Elmo bed and he's playing with a toy and he was drinking his milk. So we will let him have that back. There you go. And so because I don't have a lot going on today, I thought I would go ahead and do story time Monday with Andrew. Um, the story that I chose is the night before preschool simply because I know a lot of kids are either getting ready to go back to school or have already started the new school year. Um, the kids here in California start school next Wednesday. Um, I don't know why they're starting on a Wednesday, but they are starting August 15th. Um, personally, my son is homeschooled. I have one child left in school. He's starting high school this year. He is homeschooled, and so he only visits the district once a week to pick up his work and he visits them on Friday. So my son probably won't start school until the 17th or the following Friday. I'm not sure the teacher will call and get a hold of me and let me know. Um, I can't believe that the summer has already flown by. It feels like he just got out of school. That is no exaggeration. I feel like we just um, had his eighth grade graduation but unfortunately, no, July has already passed. It is now August. Um, and the majority of the schools will start by the middle to the end of August. I know there are some schools on the West Coast, in the Northern West Coast, that don't start until after Labor Day. Sometimes I do wish that that was the case here because it is still very hot in August. But from my understanding, um, they do the school calendar around the holidays that they give to the kids and here in California um, in my school district the kids receive three weeks vacation for Christmas one week for Thanksgiving one week for a uh, spring break and then some odds and in in service days where the teachers attend school but the children don't and then you have your major holidays like um, Veterans Day Martin Luther King President's Day so forth and so on so, with all of those holidays, all of the teacher and service days, and the extended vacation for the major holidays, they decided that to get their, their I guess their days in and their hours required for teaching, they have to start now in August instead of September. When I was a child, we always, always, always started school after Labor Day. Um, I grew up here. Um, I went to the same school districts that my kids go to and whenever I was growing up we always started school after Labor Day. It was cooler, the summer felt longer, but yet at Christmas time we only had two weeks off and Thanksgiving we only had three days off. We would actually go to school until the Wednesday before Thanksgiving. We would have minimum day and we would get Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday off and return to school the following Monday. So they have extended um, the Thanksgiving break. Whenever I was in school, um, the, the Easter holiday was called Easter week, not spring break, but of course, um, now being politically uh, correct not to offend anyone, they call it spring break. Um, when I was in school, it was called Easter vacation. Um, and we had a week off for that, as far as I can remember. Um, my sister seems to think we only had like uh, Wednesday through the following Monday off and then went back to school the Tuesday after Easter, but I think we had a week off, but you know, memory may be failing me and I may not remember, so she may be correct, I don't know. My point is, is that school nowadays, in my opinion, where I live starts uh, too soon. You know, it's still in the hundreds when some of these kids start school. So hopefully the schools, when all the kids have to go, have nice uh, running, working air conditioning. But like I said, I only have one child left in school. He's starting high school this year and he is homeschooled. So we do not have to worry about that stuff anymore. Anyhow, um, I chose the night before preschool to read today for story time with Andrew because Andrew decided that he just wanted to lay down and have his milk and listen to his story since today there was not much going on. Um, I did visit my aunts yesterday and I did not take Andrew. Um, we actually left him home because we went down to haul some things back with us 
and my car is not a very big car and so we ended up filling the back seat and the trunk area um, with bags and so I'm glad that I didn't take him because there would have been no room and I I am certainly not gonna put bags or anything on top of him so um, I'm kind of glad that we didn't take him but hopefully maybe one day he will get to go with us anyhow I'm gonna go ahead and start the story um, I hope I don't bore you guys too much I hope you enjoy the video like I said the story that we chose today is the night before preschool and it is dedicated to all the kids who this year are either starting preschool or kindergarten or are just going back to school okay the night before preschool let's see twas the night before preschool alarm clocks were set all the children were cuddling their favorite plush pet. Monkeys and lions and soft bunnies too would be going to school like big boys and girls do. Parents set out clothes and clean underwear. Hoodies were hung by the front door with care. The children were, the children then nestled all warm in their beds while visions of playtime danced in their heads. But one little boy was still wide awake. He worried about preschool and the friends that he'd make. Oh no, poor little boy, look at that boy, he's scared. His tummy hurt, yet he didn't know why. He hid behind Mommy. He was feeling quite shy. Hi there, Billy, said Justin. He greeted each child by name. Gather round and we'll start with a fun clapping game. Kids sing songs and dance dances. They love circle time, then everyone listened to stories and a mother goose rhyme. They dressed up in clothes from the big, bo big costume box. Look, I'm a pirate and I'm Goldilocks. But Billy just watched other kids as they played. In the corner by himself was right where he stayed. Poor Billy. He drew a dinosaur as tall as a tree. He showed it to Justin. That's great, is this for me? Then the children picked up their crayons and toys and took a trip to the bathroom. One for girls and one for boys. Let's break for a snack, said Justin, but Billy pushed his aside. Then off the class marched for playtime outside. There were tricycles to ride in a big loop-the-loop, -loop, a garden to tend, and sand piles to scoop. After hanging up jackets and wiping off shoes, they gathered their buddies for a quiet time snooze. The kids lay on their mats. Soon they were, there wasn't a peep. All were quiet except Billy, who could not fall asleep. Poor Billy. I hope Billy makes a friend. I don't know about you guys, but poor Billy. I can't take a nap without my teddy, Jerome. But he's not here, will Billy. I left him at home. When what do his wondering, watering eyes should appear but a soft fuzzy rabbit with a bow on its ear. It's okay, a little girl said. Here, take my bunny.
And suddenly Billy's tummy stopped feeling so funny. Thanks, whispered Billy, snuggling up for a nap. And just like that, he was asleep in a snap. After nap time was over, he played with Charlene. I'll be the blue ring, said Billy, and I'll be the green. When out in the hallway there arose such a clatter, kids sprang to the door to see what was the matter. Parents rushed in wanting hugs and kisses. Billy's mom brought Jerome and asked, did you miss us? See you tomorrow, said Justin. Wow, the first day was done. I'll be back, Billy shouted. Preschool is fun. The end. Wow, I don't know about you guys, but I'm so glad that Billy ended up liking preschool. I know Andrew is super happy that Billy found someone to be his friend. So with that being said, that is going to conclude our Monday vlog. I hope that you guys all enjoyed it. Andrew is smiling behind his bottle because he really loved that story. I hope you guys enjoyed story time. Um, we will do them often, not every day, but maybe once or twice a week. Um, I enjoy reading to you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please remember to like, subscribe, comment, and share. Thank you all so much for watching, and as always, Andrew and I will see you when we see you. Bye, guys.